Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. Today we're going to look at the BT clamp uh, elbow kit. This is for anybody that has like a 98 custom or BT gun that has this style of feed neck on it where you need to um, tighten down this screw right here in order to clamp the, your loader down into your feed neck. That can be kind of a pain, especially if you're in the middle of a game or on the field. Nobody wants to carry Allen keys around with them. So they've come up with a conversion kit to convert this existing elbow or existing style to a lever or cam lock style feed neck. So we've got the parts here. We're gonna go ahead and put one on. First thing we wanna do obviously is take the elbow off. It's much easier to work with the elbow off the gun than to leave it on the gun and do it at the same time. So we're gonna push the release button and slide the elbow off. We set the gun to the side. Now we're going to take all our parts out of the box here so you guys can see what you're going to get. So you are going to get a couple different parts inside here. The lever right there. You're going to get the screw that's going to run all the way through and connect everything. These two pieces right here and that. So these two are going to act as both your buffer and your pivot guide right there. This is the insert that's going to go into the, the, the clamp itself so the screw can come through and lock together. What we're going to do first is take the original screw, washer, and nut off of the elbow. So our screw, our washer, and our nut. I'm going to put them to the side. Now we're going to use um, this piece first. This is just the little, it kind of looks like a top hat, a collet of some sort. We're going to put it through this side first. And this is where the screw is going to come through. So the top hat's going to go through uh, the screw first side. It's going to come through like that. Next piece we're going to put on is another collet in a way, but it also acts as the pivot for the, um, the lever itself. If we didn't put this little piece in, there would be no way for the, the clamp to roll on the, the, the um, what the heck do you call this thing, on the elbow itself and squeeze down on the elbow. You would just have a lever folding back and forth, but not applying any pressure to the elbow and causing it to uh, squeeze down. So that's very important, this piece in there. We've got our insert that's going to go into our, um, our arm here. And then we're going to line up our holes. And we're going to put our screw through. And make sure that it goes into our piece there. I'm going to hand tighten it just a little bit so it holds in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down in there. So now by putting that in, this can open and shut. And you can see by the, the gap that I have right here, when I open it, that gap widens out a little bit. And when I close it, it squeezes down. After we're done with the pieces going on, we can go ahead and put it back on the gun, slide it into place, lock it down. And now we've got a clamping feed neck where we originally had just a basically a screw in feed neck. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, makes it much easier to get your loaders in and out and just do maintenance in general. So if you're tired of having to deal with tightening down your loaders with the screw and nut system, check this out. This is the BT clamping elbow conversion kit available for um, Tipman 98 guns and BT guns. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.